Yeah, that was at 2.25 this afternoon and I was in the car uh, and, and I was quite taken aback, frankly. Um, and um, so, you know, I came here and, uh, and in fact, you know, my brother Prabhu uh, was quite shocked. Everybody, I mean, our camp was shocked uh, because, I mean, nowhere in the world, yeah, that we were aware of the people make, you know, victory claims. Uh, an hour and 25 minutes of their polling booths. I mean, it, the vote counting, the, the, vote, the, the, the vote counting hasn't even finished yet. And, um, and you know, this, these were based on, on, on votes from the eastern part of Indonesia, Papua. And, and Papua, as you know, I mean, logistically, very, very difficult to, to even collect the votes and count them. So it's going to take some time. So she made the very, you know, very, what we thought was a sort of a preemptive, you know, uh, but premature move. Um, and uh, and so we were forced to react, frankly, you know. Um, and uh, so I think it's part of their psychological warfare campaign to basically uh, unnerve us. And uh, and I think it's very dangerous, frankly, because to to uh, to get people's hopes up, you know, their their supporters' hopes up, um, and to get their expect expectations up. Um, and and if the results count, go against them, uh, you know, I, I'm afraid there's going to be some violent reaction, frankly. And so. I was uh, very um, happy that uh, our president SBY came out with a statement, basically saying, "Look, you know, the quick count is not is not the real count. Even the quick count hasn't been fin been finished yet, and the real count only ends in a few days. Um, and a lot of this manual, uh, and many of the areas of Indonesia are are isolated, very you know difficult to communicate with. Um, and so he came out with a statement saying, "Look." You know, he's urging all sides to 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 uh, to you know, exercise restraint. Um, he's urging our side and both sides to not go to the streets. I think he's now instructed the police to basically ban all street celebrations, because street celebrations can be provocative. Best and worst case scenarios for you now. Well, the best case would be that in the next, uh, you know, as sooner than later, that uh, the results show a clear victory for us. You know. Um, it's going to be a close race, but we, we, have, we are getting you know, um, results from quite a lot of reasons and we feel that we're winning. We feel we're winning, you know, um, and uh, so that's the best. The best thing is like a quick result. Um, the worst result would be that obviously if they win, right? Um, but short of that, a, wor a, a, a worst result would be if we were to win and it will take a long time and it will be sort of a thin uh, majority. And, and based on you know, the reaction or, and the behavior of the other side, uh, I, I'm just afraid that in a worst case scenario, there's going to be some violence, frankly. In terms of Indonesia, and I'll pull out a little bit broader now, 20 years ago we spoke, Indonesia's gone through a lot in these last 16 years. Well, when I met you 20 years ago, we were under the authoritarian government of Suharto, okay? Right. And that was 20 years ago. I wasn't even in politics then, yes. right? Um, I had I had no no um, desire to go into politics 20 years ago, okay, uh, but I decided to go into politics six years ago, and um, and here we are, you know. And what is this? How would you describe Indonesia today? How would you describe Indonesia? I think we've made a lot of strides, okay. We made a lot of strides, um, uh, but still, I think Indonesia faces a very very um, critical time. Our um, our forests are being destroyed, have been destroyed at an alarming rate. You know, you have to figure out. 150 million acres of forest. Our um, environment is being destroyed, and it has a, a, a you know direct impact on, on the livelihood of people. Difficult to find to find um, uh, drinking water, for instance. Okay, um, our education system is is in basically it needs a vast improvement. Um, our food security is in peril because a lot of our infrastructure has not been uh, maintained. Uh, you know, 40% of our irrigation system is in disrepair at this very moment, very moment. So the government hasn't been able to uh, invest uh, the needed amounts of money in infrastructure. So the big problem in Indonesia we face uh, is number one, infrastructure. You know, so how are we going to attract investment if our infrastructure is in dis disrepair? No? And then our food security is in peril because of our irrigation systems and our agriculture is, in, is, is not the best at the moment. Okay, so we face a lot of challenges. Papa your brother, scares foreign investors. Why? And what will you do to address uh, Maybe that's our problem. Maybe our communications uh, people haven't, you know, communicated well enough, you know. I, I think I... I, you know, I know businessmen who are very happy with Prabhu. I mean, he's going to, uh, first of all, he's honest. Okay? And nobody has ever, you know, questioned his integrity. Er nobody has ever. 
Uh, that's number one. Um, I think it's uh, maybe um, uh, the rhetoric that he puts out has been maybe um, misinterpreted by people. You know? I, I, I'm an ambitious man. You know, I want to invest. I want to invest my own country. I feel very you know, uh, comfortable with Prabhu. And I, there are a lot of businessmen who are supporting Prabhu. They feel that, in fact, he's going to be good for business. You know? So, uh, yeah. Uh, renegotiating uh, contracts that I think is normal anywhere in the world. I mean, in the U.S. it happens, you know, in, in other parts of the world it happens. Um, where we are not going to, what we're not going to do is nationalize foreign businesses. That, uh, by, the, that by the way, that was, was misquoted by the other side, yeah? The other side, Jokowi, JK, their side, I think, misquoted my brother in, in several media. And I think that's sort of unnerved, you know, potential investors. So what kind of president will Prabhu be? Well, first of all, he's going to be firm but honest. He's going to be firm, but he's going to be honest. I think that's good for investors, good for the people, you know. Um, so that, in a nutshell, is where he will, what, where he will be. The, another fear is that he will roll back some no. of the No, 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 no. For instance, no, 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 no. I mean, uh, I'm 100% I'm, I'm I, I don't think, when people say 1,000%, 10,000%, I, that's hyperbole. I mean, look, I'm 100% sure he's not going to do that, you know. You know, he's going to do that. You know, and he's, you know why he's gonna, not going to do that? Because in, 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 he's to honor our parents, you know, to honor our parents, to honor our father, to our, honor our mother. My father was, a, was a, a, a Democrat with a small d, yeah. He was a Democrat. He, 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 he was a politician in the 50s. He was elected to parliament. He served in the parliament uh, in the 50s. And he, my brother is not going to be, be besmirch our, our legacy, you know, our name, you know. Our, our family has been, you know, for, for want of a better thing, I, you know, it's, we, we, we've been a, a notable family for, for hundreds of years, for hundreds of years. And we're not going to besmirch our reputation. He's not going to besmirch our, his reputation for that, you know. My last question is, when you're in politics, you take a lot of hits. Um, this has been a very rough campaign period. He's been, he's been very... Um, straightforward in terms of going after his goal from 2004 yeah. until now he's, he's, uh, he's weathered everything what have been the worst blows that you he's been he's been insulted uh, uh, you know you you're aware of that right he's been called a psychopath by people who know better than that um, he's been called uh, you know violent of human rights when other people who accuse him of that know you know who the real culprits are right um, so he's been, you know, I mean, and, and, and our family's been attacked, you know, I mean, my brother's been accused of being anti-Chinese. We have Chinese family. We have Chinese cousins. We have Chinese nephews. Um, we've been accused, he's been accused of being anti-Christian. I'm Christian. My mother, Prabhu's mother was Christian. She died as a Christian. My, Prabhu buried her, but Prabhu led, you know, he presided over the funeral of, of our Christian mother. And, and he's been accused of anti-Catholic. You know, our sister is Catholic. Prabhu's sister, Prabhu's nephews are Catholic. I mean, my God, we've got, we've got more Catholics, we've got more Protestants, we've got more minorities in our family than there's the other side, you know, for sure. And yet, you know, it's, it's yeah, it's been, very, it's been very tough and very rough. And, and uh, I'm glad I don't have a Facebook account. I'm glad I don't have a Twitter account. Uh, um, and so I, I'm, very, I'm, I'm basically impervious to, um, to, to insults. The very, very last question, sorry. People fear that he will not have changed. How will Prabhu have changed as a leader? Well, I can tell you, he's, in 16 years, he's changed a lot. He's become more mellow. He doesn't lose his temper so often. I mean, the, the, one, who, the one who suffered from his temper for the last 60 years is me. You know? And I've seen the change. In 15 years, 16 years, he's become much more mellow. And I think it's, it's a good educational process, you know? Um, you know, you know, a suffering is you know, you know the saying, right? The adage, the, British, the English language adage, a, a, a suffering is good for the soul. You know, Prabhu has suffered a lot in 16 years. You know, um, so in, in retrospect, maybe a good, a good thing.